Hi folks. So I was meant to leave this morning, move on away from Pompeii, but it lashed rain, heavy rain all night, and it's been raining all morning. It's now near midday. There's a break in the weather at the moment, and I'm going down to get milk. But I found that if I'm going to move and it's raining, I lose the enthusiasm to move in that, you know, that lovely thought on a winter's day. You're off work, got the fire lit, lashing out of the heavens outside, you get a good movie on. I get that in the camper van on rainy days. <laughs> it stops me moving. So I'm I think this is just a break in the rain at the minute. If it gets sunny in the next hour, I might go. But if the rain comes back, I'm just going to stay another night. But remember, I said I would stay a couple of nights. I arrived last Friday. This is Thursday. <laughs> but it's been a lovely week. Really enjoyed it. I haven't done that much, but I've really enjoyed it. I can see Pompeii. Ruins. Surprisingly with the rain, but that's the first time I've seen plenty of people in there. Heading up the look. So I'm all packed up. Because it's raining, I'm not going to go. But what I am going to do, I'm going to go up and have a look around the Pompeii ruins. Wasn't sure if it was going to bother. But it would be awful stupid to be right in front of the place and not go, so I'm going to walk over and have a look. The wee market stalls that I pointed out in one of my videos, they happen to be leading up to the, I shouldn't know that, leading up to the entrance. So, 16 euro, quite expensive. But this is just going to be a wee five minute tour for you, I'll be a bit longer and give you a feel for the place. And right off, that's very impressive. That's actually a modern stage. There's number tags. Seat numbers all the way around. See the roads in Italy haven't changed much. Can you imagine what this place must have been like all those years ago, buzzing with people? And very grand. Everything about it's very grand. Pompeii was a, a really thriving, busy Roman city. I wonder how they got their water uphill back then. Not that I'm any sort of historian, but I'll give you a couple of facts. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's situated at the base of Mount Vesuvius, which approximately a couple of thousand years ago erupted and covered the whole of Pompeii in deep ash. But it's amazing how it's been preserved, completely covered, and it was found by accident. There was a tunnel being dug in 1599 
and they came across it and then start they started eventually it was decided to excavate it in the 1700s. Proper footpath, road. It really is a city, it's so big. I don't think you can cover it all in a day. It's amazing really. You can still see a lot of graffiti, a lot of writing, not graffiti, but writing and walls and decoration. And the city getting destroyed at the time was just a matter of luck. The wind was blowing in the wrong direction. If the wind had been blowing in a slightly different direction, it wouldn't happen. And it's thought that the people in Pompeii had no idea that they lived beside a volcano just suddenly erupted. In fact, back then there was no name for a volcano. 1500 years it lay there, undiscovered. And it's the world's largest archaeological site. And finally they know Vesuvius will erupt again. Probably better not to build anything more underneath it. Don't know if that can be seen. You can see this one a bit clearer. One of these big dips is actually the entrance. I would love to go up there, but you can't. You get a much better feel for the place. I don't like to think of what happened here. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Can't believe I wasn't going to go. I'll have to thank Kate. Thank you, Kate. Now I've got an urge to watch a a film from it was made about back then. I'm gonna do that when we go back if I can, if there is one. So this is a different entrance exit. Maybe I'm gonna find something else interesting. Wouldn't mind to find someone sell steak and chips. There you go, guys short tour of Pompeii. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. And I'd love to hear your comments. But it's starting to rain again. And I'm heading back to the motorhome to get my feet up. So until next time, bye for now.